Hi crypto students, there's been many talks around Facebook Global Coin and I've been suggested in my latest video that it was the future world currency I was talking about. By the way, thank you all for your great comments. This video was a total success and we're growing the crypto community and I love it. So I want to clarify the many points around Global Coin and what Facebook is trying to do with it. I will do my best to condense the info so that the video is not too long yet packed of value for you. If you like it, please share it with your friends and give us a like. First, I'd like to remind you that we've launched Crypto School Consulting to help you understand the cryptocurrency space if you feel a bit lost. If you're interested or a friend of yours is interested, use the link in the description. We can discuss there and we'll offer you a 30 minutes call. So what exactly is Facebook trying to achieve with this coin? Well, the answer is open banking. They released a study showing from the data that 92% of millennials, so people aged from 21 to 34, don't trust banks. 92% don't trust banks. So what open banking wants to do is to replace banks with a far more convenient service. So that's what we see with Revolut and N26. We've also seen that Apple joined the game with the Apple card. So what they want to do is that they see this as an opportunity and they want to seize it. But Facebook is not the only one, that's my point. So really, I don't think Facebook is trying to compete with Ripple in working with financial institutions. I mean, they, they can't. At best, it will be an alternative to banking. But the financial system will remain the same and Ripple has been changing it. So really, the core mission of Ripple is not affected by it. Before going further, I'd like to talk about Max Kezo's tweet that made a lot of waves, or should I say ripples, and I think, really, I'd like to give my opinion quickly. First, why would Facebook's global coin be a threat to altcoins, but not Bitcoin? As far as we know, Bitcoin aims to be a global payment system, just like global coin. And global coin will probably be a better technology. I mean, that's for sure. Also, altcoins have various goals that one coin can solve. You can not compete in every area. That's not possible. Pure logic. If you think for a second that Facebook is going to compete against Ethereum and EOS with a similar platform, against Ripple and working with financial institutions, or against several other amazing projects, then you don't know what you're talking about. But here is where I think it may be a serious competitor. Something to really consider is that if it's widely adopted, it will become the largest currency in the world not linked to a government. And that creates many issues, of course, particularly because, well, it's Facebook and it's centralized on Facebook. So I'm not going to dive in this subject, but if you want me to, ask me in the comments. Now, where the real deal is about this global coin is that Facebook has 2 billion users in many countries. And in many of those countries, the people don't have access to a bank but they do have access to the internet and Facebook. In this way, it may be a competitor to Ripple who is trying to bank the unbanked. But still, Facebook won't change the shitty system banks are running on that Ripple is here to change. They may challenge banks, yeah, sure, but I think people still need banks today, especially in the developed countries, or something similar. Sending a crypto to a friend on WhatsApp is not a way to do commerce. So they're basically targeting the unbanked population, which, don't get me wrong, they're a huge population, but they're not the ones who have most of the money. Now, the real problem with Facebook is the lack of trust. I mean, do you trust Facebook? So why would you go from a bank you don't trust to Facebook you trust even less? You probably choose another service like Apple, who's been focused on privacy for a long time. And if Amazon also joins the game, and I'm pretty sure they will, mark my words, maybe with a cryptocurrency, maybe not, but Facebook will have even more competition. It cannot become a global currency. It may be widely used in developing countries, but there will be too much competition in the Western world. Now, here's also why I think this coin will have a hard road ahead. Apple already has a payment transfer integrated in the Messages app, but it doesn't seem to be used. And Facebook already tried Facebook credits, but it didn't catch on. It's similar. It was for gaming at first, but they wanted to expand it and they never could. So they're not the first 
wants to try that. They even tried it themselves and it didn't catch on in the developed countries at least. Also concerning the technology, here are two points I think are worth considering. Is that digital assets need time to develop, to, to become a stable technology and to be in accordance with law. It's hard to believe for me that a coin can land and take over just like that, even considering Facebook's notoriety. Especially regarding jurisdiction, Repo has been working on legal issues for almost a decade now and Facebook's coin will be centralized, which means much tighter restrictions on, on this currency as a whole. The second point worth considering is that even if it does catch on, considering Facebook's user base, adoption will probably happen faster than technological development, which will cause the technology to be unstable. Even if Facebook knows that, they will take so much time to have a stable currency that I don't know if it's still time to join. Now I said that there's a lack of trust in Facebook. Yet, they will regulate the supply of coins and all the transactions happening. But who will authorize that? Facebook has a bad reputation and that's only getting worse. And if you look at the numbers, Facebook is dying. Millennials are leaving. I'm 23 and I've personally been leaving. So I don't think there's a great future here. In French, we have a saying, we can't change a donkey in a racing horse. Meaning, Facebook never respected privacy and never will, in my opinion. So how could it become a global currency? Please tell me. I also wanted to get something out there for the XRP community. As far as we know, the Apple card, who seems to be the direct competitor of global coin, may use XRP. Think about it. Absolutely no fees. And we know they've been integrating Ripple solutions. Just saying. I'm going to make a video on this subject, so make sure to subscribe not to miss it. It's going to be very interesting. Now, the announcement has been seen by many, and rightfully so, as something that could really legitimize cryptocurrencies to the public for good. It can bring millions of people to crypto. This, of course, is true. It's positive for the cryptocurrency market. However, if it completely fails or has bad reputation due to the past of Facebook, it may deteriorate the reputation of, of cryptocurrencies. So that's something to consider, and I don't think many are considering that. All in all, guys, nobody knows. We can only look at the current facts and imagine how it can play out. I gave you my opinion. I'm not worried. I think it can be huge for the unbanked, but not to the rest of the world. But we have to keep an open mind to all the possibilities as we may underestimate the project. However, the project is still in an early phase. I think it's going to need two more years to become stable. So during this time, there is a lot of progress and adoption to be made by other crypto projects such as Ripple. Do you think it's too late for Facebook to join the party or is it still time? Thank you for watching. Tell us in the comment section your opinion. Please share and like. We need your help to rank higher and grow the channel. One, two, three, I'm out.